I got our dashboard mounted onto a small bent piece of steel to mimic our steering support. And now we'll work on getting the lead wires wired in and getting the switches and the meter wired up. I wired our two reds together to a spade connector and our incoming red to a spade connector. It will connect to our first switch here and then I added some ring connectors to our B- and P- leads. That way we can add ring connectors to our extension leads and get them all connected. I just strip off some of the insulation covering. And these real thin wires, I like to just bend them back. Just kind of fold it over and bend it back on itself. And then slide the piece over it and pinch it right over the wire, right to the insulation on these real thin wires seems to hold up a little bit better. So we gotta make sure we slide on our piece of heat shrink first and slide our ring terminal on and then we'll crimp it down over the wire end and then we'll slide the heat shrink. Cinch down nice and tight we'll just slide our heat shrink up and shrink it down. That's nice and shrunk down. Well protected now. So we're going to use this white wire to go with our yellow wire. So white will be yellow and then black will be black. Took these off to the side for a minute. So as per our diagram here, we've got the two reds coming together with a spade terminal that will connect to our switch here. We got the incoming red with a spade terminal. We'll connect to our other terminal of the switch here. We've got the black, that's the B minus, and the yellow, P minus, from the meter that we will hook on two terminals. And then we have the black and the white from our lead wires coming out of the meter or out of our dashboard with ring terminals and the yellow will contact with white and black will contact with black and we've got our other black wire coming out of the small plug-in with the power wire that's not needed in this application so we'll tuck these off to the side for a minute We'll run our wires through our junction hole here. We'll run our red wires through our access hole. And two of them are plugged into one side of our switch. And then our other red wire run through the access hole. At that power in wire, and run to the other terminal of the switch. And now we'll match up our two blacks, line them up and connect them with the same terminal. Well, I've got our meter and everything mounted up in the dash and all wired up and about ready to test as per our diagram here. So our yellow wire we had to convert to white because the extension wire didn't have yellow in it. So our P- minus wire will be white. We've got the B- minus wire is the two blacks right here. So it's black from the meter to the terminal and then black from the terminal to the shunt. The P- minus is yellow from the meter to the terminal and then white from the terminal to the shunt. And then the and then our B plus comes in from the battery 
joins together with the sensor line that goes in and then they go up to the switch that would be these two right here and then the other side of the switch that that supplies the power to the switch from the battery and also the B plus signal to the meter and then coming out of the switch when you turn the switch on actually sends the power to turn the meter on so we move up to our shunt here our P minus is the white wire our B minus is our black wire then our red power wire goes to the positive terminal of our battery pack and then the shunt goes to the ne negative terminal of our battery pack and then we have a back cover to put over to protect all of our electronics so I'll pop the back cover on it and then we'll spin it around and give it a try here's the front of our dashboard mounted in our steering support hoop where it would be like on a go-kart we've got it all wired and connected up as per the diagram to our 24 volt battery pack and the shunt and then we'll fire it up and it is showing we have 25.5 between 25.5 and 25.6 volts in our battery pack and as of right now we are have no load being drawn and then when you're done for the day give her a flip the switch and move on she's ready for you next time you need it put her back on you're good to go Flip it off and go about your business.